Siem Nasiea. Hi, Squail. Good day. Uh, it's good to welcome you here this evening. My traditional name is Thalfit. Uh, given name is Robert Morales. I'm actually from Cowichan, but uh, we are Coast Salish as well, so we'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of our Coast Salish relatives here, the uh, Musqueam and Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh um, nations to welcome you here on their traditional territory and our traditional territory. So a little bit about the, uh, the work that, that we've been doing with Lawyers Rights Watch and Amnesty International and the Vancouver Public Library. A uh, number of, of uh, lectures that have been given to discuss uh, Indigenous people's human rights. And amongst the Coast Salish, there's uh, many, many uh, issues and um, much work that's currently being done in this area. So um, this evening, we look forward to the presentation by, by Ken Deere, and, and he'll be introduced to you. Um, we were hoping to have somebody from the Squamish Nation here this evening, but unfortunately they were not able to, to attend. So uh, I was asked if I could fill in and just offer a welcome to everybody and hope that you have a, uh, uh, a good uh, uh, opportunity here to learn about the uh, United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. I think it will be a great discussion. And so with that, I'll turn it over to Gail to uh, give you an uh, introduction to Ken. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Tonight we're very fortunate to have with us Kenneth Deer. Kenneth is from the Bear Clan of the Mohawk Nation from Kahnawake, Quebec. And he's come all the way there from, from there to here to speak to us tonight about the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. And Ken is about the best person that uh, uh, we know of that could tell you about how and why that declaration was developed and the, the pitfalls and difficulties in arriving at the declaration and the, the uh, pitfalls and difficulties that lie ahead. The declaration took almost 30 years to develop and um, Kenneth was part of the meetings as a representative of Indigenous people for over 20 years. Uh, going back and forth to Geneva, he was telling me this afternoon that, that if he adds up all the weeks he spent in Geneva over the last 20 odd years, he spent a few years there. And um, as well as his, uh, him being a very a decades long activist for the rights of, of indigenous people in Canada and around the globe, Kenneth is also the um, formerly a publisher of the award winning newspaper in Kahnawake. He's also been all his life an educator. So I'm very pleased to um, welcome tonight Kenneth Deer. Kenneth? 